Hi, this is T.H. Colhane for Solar Cities, Zabilla Colhane behind the camera. And we're in our kitchen in Germany, and we've got food waste. Now, normally, we would take this food waste and grind it up in the incinerator for our biogas digester. But at this particular apartment, we don't have a biogas digester. And what is more, incinerators are not officially allowed in this part of Germany. There's some misconceptions that urban planners have about how the pipes in the city react to food waste. Even though that's been proven that incinerators are actually good for the plumbing in the sewer system, there are still officials who don't allow them. So we have a workaround. We compost the food here in Germany that we don't use uh, in the biogas digester. The problem is that normally when you throw the food in the compost, it, it takes a long time to degrade. It can take three to six months to turn into soil. And in the winter, it doesn't degrade at all. So most people compost in the spring and the summer, but come the fall and winter, they stop composting. We've got a solution to that, and that is using an incinerator, not in the kitchen sink, but at the compost bin, as what we call the compost companion. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> the normal procedure, of course, is you take your food waste, and you bring it over to the compost bin, and you dump it in. It's bulky, and it fills the compost bin in a period of time, and then it takes a while. However, what we've done here in the compost area is we've installed an incinerator right by the compost bins, and we press the button and turn it on, take our food waste, our banana peels and our oranges and whatnot, take a little rainwater and pour it in, and uh, Take a look at how it's grinding right here if you want. Come on in. Take a look here. So we take all that food waste, pour it in. And of course, this goes there, which stops the noise. But you can see what's going on inside. And what we end up with, when we finish, as you can see, we end up with this incredible ground-up slurry. Now this, when we pour this in the compost, <clears throat> this immediately turns into soil. Rather than taking three to six months, this only takes three to six days to turn into really good friable soil because it's already been ground. So unlike most compost bins that are filled with all sorts of uh, detritus, ours is instant soil. The earthworms can have at it. You don't have to worry about what you compost. You can compost lemon peels, you can compost orange rinds, banana peels, citrus things that are acidic, anything that usually isn't good for the compost, even meat, fat, bones, all of it now can go into the compost and it makes a really quick compost in as little as a half a week. Um, we do another thing here which is we insulate our compost bin so that we can continue this process in the winter. And believe it or not, even on a frozen day when you take this incinerator slurry and pour it in, that creates heat. And um, you can put all sorts of stuff. We put the cat litter in here. We put the food waste in here. So that's the idea with the Insincorator Compost Companion. That's what we're calling our Insincorator out here, a compost companion. Every home should have one, regardless of whether your uh, city planners allow it or not. They cannot disallow you to use it with your compost. So it's a fantastic solution for getting rid of, of all of your kitchen garbage, never sending anything to landfill again. Thanks.